and there's a continual 24 hours a day, seven days a week buzzing. You might be among the one in three people over the age of 60 who suffers from hearing loss. If so, there are a variety of devices out there to help, but they don't always work as expected. Now, innovative therapies can give patients sound help. The sounds of everyday life could be making you deaf. Long-term exposure to noise like this or one unprotected blast can cause hearing loss. Sound is measured in decibels. A normal conversation is about 60 decibels. Chainsaws, hammer drills, and jet engines ring in at over 100. Even power tools or lawnmowers can cause trouble. I drove my first tractor at seven. On his family farm, Bill Landers grew up exposed to loud equipment that years later left his ears ringing. A condition known as tinnitus. Like a low level of cicadas, just continually making that little noise. According to the American Tinnitus Association, 12 million people suffer from this form of hearing loss. More than 1 million suffer symptoms so bad they can't work or sleep. For musician Bill Gordon, loud music was the culprit. I kept hearing these other sounds in my head instead of just this very clean, blank slate, which had always been there before. Now audiologists are researching whether a softer sound of music can help. Just focus on that tinnitus. The therapy helps patients focus on a sound separate from the tinnitus. What we're trying to do is to move the people from the group that are seriously disabled by tinnitus into a group where they're not bothered by it. And you're in charge of your concentration. One theory is that the condition is affected by abnormal brain activity. There's a chance that um, through extended period of listening strategies that the pattern that's responsible for the tinnitus in the brain might actually be broken up. Ah, hello, Mr. Blackwell. A different kind of listening therapy is helping patients who rely on hearing aids. It's frustrating because you, you really want to understand what somebody's telling you. People with hearing aids often complain about distracting background noise. Sometimes you just think, oh darn, I wish I could have heard that. An interactive computer program called Listening and Communication Enhancement, or LACE, trains them to filter it out. The hearing aids are designed to get the sound into your ear and up to your brain, but what your brain does with it is not going to be a function of the hearing aid. Patients develop better listening skills through a series of exercises. In this one, try to hear the male voice. The spine consists of 24 segments of bone. The exercise trains patients to focus on just one voice. As the brain gets conditioned, it gets easier. Listen again. The spine consists of 24 segments of bone. That could be the difference between hearing the person next to you and the person two, two seats down in a restaurant. You wouldn't think of sending your child to a sports practice without proper gear. But each day in music class or at band practice, young eardrums are under assault. By the time you're aware that you're saying what a lot or, or things don't seem clear, you actually have quite a bit of damage. Most parents know loud music pumped through headphones is bad for the ears, but they seldom think about the damage done in school music programs. When you think of a regular earplug that you might roll up and put in your ear, it takes down certain frequencies or pitches more than others. And for musicians, they hate that because their music doesn't sound correct anymore. They worry about how they're playing. That's why these earplugs are special. Loud sound is transferred equally across all frequencies, so they're true to the tones. My clarinet sounds actually better to me because all the other sounds are, are lower a little bit. The plugs are now a requirement in this music class with the hope that what kids practice today to protect their hearing will pay off tomorrow. Musicians' earplugs range from $10 a pair for pre-molded to more than $200 for custom plugs. And audiologists recommend all of us wear earplugs when using power tools, lawn mowers, or leaf blowers. They are available for just a couple of dollars at home improvement stores and pharmacies.